All right, welcome back to LearnWire. There is a last call event going on right now until September 13th. So you have about four days to make purchases. You have to be a Plus member on AppSumo. That is about, I think that's 99 bucks a year. It gets you a membership. You get 10% off all of your purchases throughout the entire year. Plus you get other special perks and so forth. And then most importantly, you get some of these tools that come back only once a year, things like that. This PostX, this was like a year ago when this was on the platform. So I'm in, I already purchased tier two for post X. You also want to make sure to subscribe and watch out for my next video. I'm going to try to get a lead scripts video out for you guys. Just looking at everything else. I think we kind of declared a winner most for the most part, URL monitor versus the tool warp index. I'm going to go click on that real quick, just on the top while we're on the topic, you actually can still pick up warp index. It seems to be doing really well for my websites. I'll have to do an updated review for you guys, but it seems to do really well. I haven't been having to submit my URLs via the Google search console anymore. Every time I make a post, I just trust that the tool does it and finds it and helps get stuff indexed. So when it comes to the last calls, really the ones that I'm most interested in over here, Lyft OS, I've done a full review on this and I did make a purchase of this one and have been using this one. So I recommend Lyft OS, definitely recommend Post X. And I'm gonna show you all about that in just a minute. Lead scripts, I'm gonna be doing a review on as well. And then other than that, I'm not really that excited about any of the other tools. That's just my opinion. Let's jump in. All right, so here is Post X's website and they are already doing well as a business, um, getting almost 100,000 visitors per month. So uh, I know that this is known around the industry now as a, a tool to uh, quickly build websites. They have a really good trust pilot ratings and so forth. You can go watch a video right there. What I like is we should be able to get good page of speed with using this plugin as well. And basically, this allows you to build websites very quickly. They have a lot of good solid reviews. And I did want to just look at the lifetime prices even on their website. If you wanted to pick up just one site license, it's $134 just for one website of five sites is 211. So they're definitely giving you and it's $324 for an unlimited site. So you're actually saving a bunch of money by picking up the AppSumo deal the next four days. I'm gonna show you a site that I did build on this like a year ago, it's Candy Cross Paws. I think that this did get hit and it hasn't really recovered. It's not a whole lot of content on here, but it's not surprising. It's just an affiliate website, but you can see what a site could look like or does look like with this. You can change out banners and stuff like that, but I'm gonna show you how to use the tool in just a minute, but this is kind of what you uh, can do with, this was just the free version, by the way. So this was the free version. We're gonna go take a look at some of the free, the premium templates and so forth. As you can see right over here, LearnWire, I'm actually going through a site facelift. I'm trying to pick a theme. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use Post X on my particular website, but maybe I will. Right now, you can see we've just installed the Cadence a WordPress team, and I'm basically going to do a facelift and try to make my site look a little bit better. But you can see it still looks kind of similar to the way that it did look previously. So let's go log in and install this real quick. I'm not going to um, show you how to install a plugin or anything, so we'll be right back in a minute. All right, so after you install it, this is what it looks like. When you're on the getting started section over here, you can navigate to all the different sections up here, or you can go from the left hand uh, menu on the sidebar and you can get to there as well. First thing you'll want to do is just copy your license key that they give you after you make the purchase and go into in, uh, to license and paste that in. And then you'll be upgraded to the pro version that you purchased. I purchased the unlimited websites, so I'll be able to install this and use the pro version on as many websites as I'd like. So we're at the getting started section. You can come through here and you'll basically be able to see that like right over here, chat GBT, I went ahead and clicked on the settings button over, button over here. I, I did put my, I did put my open API key in and you'll be able to select what open API version of chat GBT you want to use. Of course, if you have a paid account or you don't mind paying for your credits, you want the highest quality content, you're going to select chat GPT four or higher. So that's what I did right there. And you can select all these on or off as you use the tool, you'll know what you are using the most of and what you're not. It might help with speed if you unsell some of the things that you are not like custom font. I don't imagine I'm going to be using any custom fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and just uncheck that right there. And if there's any other ones, you would just check them on or off right there. I do have some tutorial videos up top as well. This is where our um, starter sites come in, our site builder. So this is where you can come in and you can actually create 
your single post pages and what those are going to look like. And you can use templates in here. You can, what your archive, what your front page, what your category pages look like. So I like the way that you're able to easily do that from inside here. We'll see if we have time to come in here and mess around with the site builder. Let's go look at blocks. So this is where you can actually go and check out. You can even click on live and see what a live section will look like with that particular block picked right over here. That's what it'll look like. And what you can do is you can just simply turn them on or off uh, depending on, uh, we're gonna leave everything on because we are kind of new with this and we want to be able to look at all of them, right? But once you start building sites and you, if there's just some post grids or blocks or things, tools that you're not using at all, then you'll know to start turning those off. Here's where you would upload your custom font. Here's where there's integrations, WP Bakery, Oxygen, Divi, Elementor, um, Bricks Builder. So all those right there. Rank Math, All-in-One SEO, SEO Presser, Squirrely, Yoast. I mean, they. I love how they integrate. They know the industry. They know the popular tools. And they literally integrate with Squirrel, Yoast. I mean, several of them. So good stuff there. I believe I have Yoast on this site. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure those are all turned off. And then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can turn that on. So we did turn on the Yoast plugin right there. And then where you want saved templates, this is where you'll add a new um, template or once you build your site out, you can save your template and then you can actually just copy that over uh, to your next website build if that's what you wanna do, the really awesome stuff. Because once you buy the build, if you purchase that unlimited site package, you'll be able to go out there and build websites and then go and sell them. And once you find a site template that you like, you could save that and install it on multiple sites at the click of a button, super cool stuff. So let's go over to the starter sites now and start looking at the different options that they have. So there's a ton of them as we just kind of scroll through and look, you'll just be able to see kind of what the feel looks like. This is like a technology hub right there. That looks really cool, but you could select one of these, even if it's like you like this layout right here, you don't have to have a tech blog or tech site in order to use that. You would, it's just really kind of what they're calling it and what it might be ideal for, but it doesn't mean you can't use it for anything, right? So we'll scroll down. I mean, they have a lot to choose from, but what I want to do is just go over here and I want to look at just the pro version. Once you purchase, then you'll be able to have access to these ones that are the pro version. And you can just see that the sites look different all across the board. This one has a big hero image right there. If that's your style, some of them have more or less of the magazine type feel to it. But in general, it's, it is built a little bit more for kind of mass blogging or a magazine type feel. I don't know about you. I'm not really a big fan. There's so much going on a, a, web, a page like that. So I like to kind of tone it down just a little bit. But of course, if this is, if you're running a fast paced website, then these are the kind of templates that you would want to use. Something like right over here, there's not a whole lot going on right there. I like that one as well. This one right over here, they do a really good job at putting the categories on each one of the, when there's a thumbnail on the home page, they also tell you what category it's been placed in as well. Let's take a look at a couple of these ones. So I'm gonna take a look at this right here, live preview. So if we click on that right there, this is where you'll be able to open this up and you'll be able to change the color palette. This is more learn wire fill right over here. It's gonna have a dark view and a light view right there. Really cool there. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that one right there. And then you have your fonts right over here. You have to hover over it, it takes a second, but then it'll tell you, you can see when I hover over it, it tells you what font it actually is using. And this is where you would wanna do your custom fonts because they don't have a whole lot. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one right here because it does have poppins in it but they only have two, four, six, eight, ten fonts available. So this is where you'll want to upload your fonts if they don't have your desired font. So we'll select that. And then, so this is what it'll look like, some of the basic settings that you'll have. And then what you can do after that is you can just push the import site to see what it'll actually look like on your website. You can see all the different stuff like follow us if you have all these social media accounts right over here. They are gonna have some kind of placeholders for where you could put advertisements if you wanted to. You have your top categories, a lot of good ways to build out your site. You'll be able to easily come through and uh, change out these banners right here. It's just a way that you could place in some different banners for depending on what you're selling or advertising, something like that, or you can easily just remove those. So that's one of them. Let's go and take a look at one of the other ones real quick. Let's try this Q bit. I think I kind of like this one. So let's go and you can also favorite them as well. 
Come back in, we'll choose that green again, right over here. All right, so that's what the uh, dark view looks like. And then here's what the light view looks like. I do like the way that it has more of a larger, almost hero style image right over here. I'm not really liking the way that the header looks for my website, but really I just wanna show you what you would be able to do with the site. So let's go ahead and import this one for fun. You're going to have your, I'm gonna uncheck this, and then I'm going to, uh, it says import dummy posts. Don't wanna do that. Delete previous imported sites, install required plugins. I'm gonna go ahead and not install this on this website because I don't know if I'll be if I'll be able to go back from it. I'm just not sure what will end up happening if I import this to everything that I have on the site. <clears throat> A little risky, but I might be able to go and put this on another website real quick. All right, so I'm going to install this on one of my other websites that I know I only have about four blog posts on, so it won't make a difference, a big difference anyways. It's not high risk. And then also I'm going to go ahead and uncheck delete previous imported sites and then import dummy posts. I'm going to uncheck that as well. And then we're going to go ahead and just push uh, set import and it's going to go and import for us. And then we can go and view our website. And this is what it looks like. So we have our realistic pay, it brought in the logo. We can go and adjust that if we want, but it looks nice. We have our search box and we have our social media handles up here. We have our light and dark mode right here. And then you have your basic home about blog and contact page. So what that contact page looks like, it's just gonna be a big contact form right there. The blog section right here, we've got all of our blog posts right over here. And you can see it just looks really nice. We've got our about page. I haven't even filled that out yet. We've got home and this is what your home page you can go and it this is what makes uh, post x really good is that just a couple of clicks and then you have a full-blown site if uh, you can import the dummy post if you want so you can look what make it see what it looks like but this is it's right out of the gates right out of the box you're already going to have a site that's up and ready so what you would do is you could go and start a website get like five to ten blog posts on it and then go and install this and then it's going to just look good right out of the box and I like how it puts these online course creation, that's a category that we're posting in and it's placing that little sticker on each thumbnail. So I like the way that it does that. We've got our slider already placed right here. So you've got a nice uh, homepage slider. And where do you wanna go? So these right here are gonna be blog posts, but you could set this up as a categories page. And so when people arrive at your site, there's gonna be really good site navigation because they'll be able to click on each category, whatever they're looking for, which is good. So online course creation, they have all these blog posts right here. But again, you can create this as a categories type page so people can click on the category that they want to look at. Again, you can remove the like advertising of this, this post right over here. I mean, this advertisement or blog block, you can just remove that, no problem. Discover most amazing places. Obviously this one was set up for adventures or travel type blog. So we would go and we would fix all that, but you can see it looks really good. And then your footer is going to have your popular post or most read. So if you don't wanna fiddle with a lot of setup, this is the right plugin for you. You're basically getting themes and easy builders. So you can, in a sense, if you kind of choose to go into the uh, PostX environment as a way to build out websites quickly, you can do away with Elementor if you want and all those other website builders that are on top of WordPress that typically will slow the site down a little bit. And then also you will be able to have something right out of the box and ready to go. Um, and then you can just make um, adjustments as needed. So that's the big advantage of using post X. And for whatever reason, the last couple of site uh, speed tests, um, I was getting errors, but I was able to get a 93 and I used pingdom right over here. So um, it seems to be fast. If we go back into the dashboard real quick and we go back into post X and then we go into the site builder. This is where you'll make your adjustments, right? So use the starter site to get something up and running. But then once you want to go in and make adjustments, you would just come over here and you would go into your front page. For example, you could build one from scratch. Actually, if you want to have more granular control, you can either do this, the uh, starter sites, and it's going to kind of uh, import everything all at once. But if you come into the site builder, then you could go in and you could actually start from scratch right here. And this is where you'd come in and go into the builder library. You could import one of these pages as the front page if you wanted to. Remember, we have the chat GPT uh, function over here. We would just need to put in our key right there. Remember, I'm on a different site this time. 
Then here's where your post X settings are over here on your top right. You'd click on that and then you would be able to go and do all kinds of typography, color palette and so forth. And then finally, I wanted to show you this. So you're inside of the just Gutenberg block editor, which is the standard block editor now in 2024, right? It's been around for a couple of years now. But what makes Post X really cool is that if you don't want to mess around with learning Elementor or you also don't want to add that on top of your WordPress site to maybe slow it down or whatever, and you just want a one kind of tool that basically provides the theme and provides the layout and provides um, a whole bunch of other block um, editors, then you would just come in here and you push plus and then watch what ends up happening. So you just have all these basic ones, but if we push browse all, look what adds, what, look what ends up happening. You have the post X Gutenberg uh, post box and you have all of these different things that you can add in here, right? So you have like a bunch of different options, site builders, author boxes, post category. So if we wanted to grab the post category, we could go in and have this right over here like that. We could also come in and push plus and add another block over here, like over here. We could go post list number two right here. And so at, you can build out your own front page just like this if you really wanted to. And this is what the front page will look like. So you can actually control, fully control the front page by building it right over here as well. So there's a lot of things you can do with post X. So this is the pricing license tier one, you can get for $49, you get five domain licenses and everything else is the same. You get, you're going to get up, updates for life on all the tools. Nothing really separates the different license tier one and license tier two, other than you get five domain licenses for license tier one at $49 license tier two, $159. So basically three times the cost, but you're going to get it on unlimited domain licenses. You'll never have to pay again. And you have all the functionality of post X. So I think that this is definitely one of those uh, deals that you're getting almost a five star taco, 32 reviews. And this is just uh, something that I, I think is going to be around a long time. I think it's an evergreen product. And if you are a website builder, you either build and sell websites or you build websites for clients, or you are in the niche website building game and you are building multiple websites. All right. So wrapping this up and giving this an official rating, I'm going to have to give this one a five star rating because of what you get with it. The ease of use is great for beginners. It's great for people that are experienced. It's one click install one and you'll have a beautiful looking website and then they go above and beyond. So not only are you basically getting uh, WordPress themes that look really good. A lot of these, the way that the magazine style WordPress themes work out is that you usually end up having to pay for these premium like color mag for example is like 80 bucks or 120 bucks a year and there's all kinds of magazine themes out there they typically run at least 70 bucks or more per year you're getting the premium looking magazine type website layouts and themes with post x and then it only starts from there all the integrations that they have yoast and all-in-one seo they have rank math squirrely so it integrates really well with all of the tools that you're already using on your sites and then also this can be a full replacement for Elementor, Div, Theme Architect, all kinds of different web Beaver Builder. So all these different uh, platforms that you have to install that are really big and they're kind of clunky, they can weigh down. And I've definitely seen that. I really like Elementor, but it does weigh down your website and slow it down. And that's just inevitable. That's what happens when you install Post X, you're going to get a full fledged website builder as well, where you can use blocks to build your website and so forth and you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. So you're kind of getting an all-in-one package where you can go and launch websites and they can look really good very quickly. And so with all that said, the plugin just works and I really like it. So it's getting a five star from me. And well, last but not least, it's fast and the UI is very intuitive. It's easy to find what you're looking for inside the app. So this could be your go-to tool. Right now it's currently available from uh, September 9th to September 13th on the last call. So you do have to be a plus member to go and pick this up. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully you got insight from this video and you can make an informed purchasing decision. The link will be below the video and I will see you in the next video.